Hi, this is Minnie Wilson. I'm a clinical instructor at Fortis College in Columbia, South Carolina. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a couple CLIA wave tests that you will perform almost on a daily basis in your career as a medical assistant. The first test is a hemoglobin test. The second one is a blood sugar test, also known as a glucose test. Both of these procedures require capillary puncture. So we'll be performing that and I'll be talking to you a little bit and giving you some information about the test, how it's performed, and the reasons why they're performed, as well as normal levels for these tests. So we have all of our equipment together. We have our gloves, our glucose uh, machine, our glucometer, our testing strips, alcohol, lancet, our um, microcuvette, sorry, and a two by two gauze, as well as our HemaQ machine and sharps container. So after a good hand washing, I'm going to apply our gloves. And I'll start with the HemaQ machine, which is going to test for hemoglobin. All right, so make sure the patient has clean hands. And we'll just melt their finger a little bit to get the blood up to the tip. I'm gonna clean with alcohol and allow that to dry. Don't wipe it or blow it or fan it. Get my cuvette ready and some gauze. So after I make the stick, which is capillary puncture, I'm gonna squeeze, and I don't want that first blood, I don't want the second, and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the third as well, and then we'll use this for our testing. So I'm gonna good drop of blood there, fill our micro cuvette. I'll ask my patient to hang on a second because I've got another test. We'll wipe off any excess blood from the cuvette and place into our HemaQ. Go ahead and get that result started. Then I'll take my test strip to get ready for my glucose you'll see a drop of blood signaling that it is ready. Okay, so we'll squeeze again. Just for safety, I'm gonna wipe off that first blood. We don't wanna to touch the instrument to the skin, only to the blood, and lay on a flat surface for our results. We'll have patient put pressure on their finger. We'll document our results when they're ready. This one usually takes about um, 15 to 60 seconds. We already have our blood sugar results. Our HemaQ results are showing a hemoglobin of 15.0. Make sure we document that. We have 105 for our glucose result. We'll document that. And we also want to document whether or not the patient has had anything to eat or drink.